Hello everyone, I'm Senator Garland Gudger. I'm here today to read you a book that is titled Nobody Listens to Andrew by Elizabeth Guilfoy and Pictures by Dora Letter. I hope you enjoy it. No one listens to Andrew. Andrew saw something upstairs and he ran down very fast. He said, listen, mother. Mother said, wait, Andrew. I must pay Miss Cleaner. She must catch the bus before dark. Andrew said, listen, Daddy. I saw something upstairs. Daddy said, wait, Andrew. I must cut the grass before dark. Andrew said, listen, Ruthie. I saw something upstairs. It was in my bed. Ruthie said, wait, Andrew, I must put on uh, my roller skates. I want to go skating before dark. Andrew ran back inside. Andrew said, listen, Bobby, I saw something upstairs. I was in my bed on the sun porch. Bobby said, don't bother me, Andrew. I must find my bat and ball. I want to play before dark. Andrew said, listen, Mr. Neighbor, I saw something upstairs. It was in my bed on the sun porch. It was black. Mr. Neighbor said, never mind, Andrew. I must take my dog for a walk before dark. Andrew said very loud, listen, mother. Listen, daddy. Listen, Ruthie. Listen, Bobby. Listen, Mr. Neighbor. Listen, Mrs. Cleaner. There is a bear upstairs in my bed. And look at everybody like, no way. Mother stopped paying Miss Cleaner. She said, call the police. Daddy stopped cutting the grass. He said, call the fire department. They started getting worried, didn't they? Ruthie stopped skating. She said, call the zoo. Bobby stopped playing ball. He said, call the dog catcher. Mr. Neighbor stopped taking his dog for a walk. He said, call the police. He called the fire department. He called the dog catcher. He called the zoo. Zoom came the police. Zing came the fire department. Whoosh came the dog catcher. Swoosh came the man from the zoo. They all ran upstairs. Look, said mother. It is on the sun porch. Look, said Daddy, it is black. Look, said Bobby, it is on Andrew's bed. Look at all of them lucky. Look, said Ruthie, it is a bear. Andrew said, it was a bear, but nobody listened to Andrew. Look at that real black bear in his bed. The dog catcher caught the bear in his net. The fireman said, it climbed up the tree. It climbed in the window. You see, they got the bear and they're getting it out. The man from the zoo said, it is dry in the woods. The bears are thirsty. They were looking for water. I will take this bear to the zoo. See all the police and firemen in the zoo, they're taking the bear out. Finally, Andrew started being able to be listened to. Daddy said, next time, we will listen to you, Andrew. So, moral of the story, if you have something important to say, don't stop until you're heard, no matter what it is. No matter how small or how big, everybody has a voice. Hope you enjoyed the book.